Afternoon guys, and this is vlog number 100. And I wanna tell you a, a really quick story um, that my, my friend Malcolm reminded me of. He told me, he said, you know what, Varek? I knew you were always gonna be a businessman. And I said, why, How, what, what do you mean? And by the way, Malcolm and I, we go back like 25 years. Um, he said, I knew you were gonna be a businessman because I remember I was riding in your car one day and I pulled the visor down because I wanted to block the sun out of my eyes. And I saw a sign that you wrote that said 25 cents per mile. And I started laughing because I remember that sign. It is true. I charged people 25 cents per mile if they needed a ride. Let me give you a little context. Um, uh, <laughs> during high school, I had this 1991 Toyota Camry. And if you are a high schooler with a car, you are the king. And I remember uh, a friend called me and he said, hey, can you give me a ride? So I went to go pick him up from the house and take him to AMC Skyline. So he wanted to go to the movie theater, so I went out of you know the opposite direction, picked him up, and then came back and dropped him off at the movie theater. And as I'm pulling up to the movie theater, I see a group of kids kind of standing around talking, and they're all my friends too. So he gets out of the car, he waves me goodbye, and then as I'm driving off, a couple of friends see me, they kind of wave goodbye and kind of go back to their talking. And I'm like, huh, that's interesting. So I just dropped him off at the movie, to be with a group of my friends. And I'm like, Yo, uh, uh, how come I didn't get an invite? I didn't get an invite to the movie. Um, he just asked me for a ride. And that didn't sit well with me because I kind of wanted to go see the movie. Um, so when he called me to say, hey, can you pick me up? I was like, sorry, man, I'm not available. You gotta give your, your mom a call. And he did, and he got his ride home. Um, but that's when I started to reevaluate everything. And I, I took note of how much I was paying for gas, and it came out to be about 18 cents per mile. So I just rounded it up, and I said, okay, well, I'm gonna charge 25 cents uh, per mile. Now, I told that to the next couple people that uh, I gave rides to, and it says, why are you charging so much if it only costs you 18 cents? Well, I told them was, what I told them was, if you're gonna treat me like a taxi, I'm gonna treat you like a passenger. That'll be $3, please. And I would also charge them from, uh, from my house to their house and to their destination. And if they need me to go pick up, I would charge them the exact same thing. So that was my first introduction um, into kind of like my own little business. Actually, I had started before that, but that's a different story. Um, but now that I have a formal business, um, I had to kind of stop and reevaluate everything where, um, where I am now. When I started with vlog number one, I had a pursuit of opening a studio, and I have a studio, and by vlog number 40. Now I'm at vlog number 100, and I kind of want to shift my focus and, and redirect it, kind of go back to square one, and make sure that I'm being paid a fair wage for the services that I offer. So I'm, I'm kind of you know in a process where I'm kind of go back to the drawing board, regroup, rebrand, re-strategize, um, and see what happens. I, I still like to keep these vlogs because they kind of act as a record of a video journal. And I don't know if anyone actually watches these things like from front to back. Um, but if you do, hey, let me know uh, what you think and what I can do to improve because that's really what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to improve, I'm looking to grow. Uh, I'm not perfect and I'm gonna make a couple mistakes along the way, but that's part of the deal. You know, I kind of signed up for this. And sometimes it gets, you know, like, Anyway, let me know. Thanks, guys.